The Great Shield Volcano of Hawaii's Big Island is the largest volcano on the planet. It has been erupting continuously for the last 15 years. John Kiergaard has spent his life here filming the ever-changing lava flows. I started off because I've been attracted to fire. And I think if you're attracted to fire and you live in Hawaii as I do, it's pretty natural that you're going to end up on one of these volcanoes. I've been photographing the volcano in stills for probably 30 years now. And I like to capture the uh, fluidity of flows and the beauty of color. And at certain times of the day, like in the dawn and dusk, we have what we call magic hour, you know, when colors show up so nicely. So I'd say that my work here is half documenting the scientific side of it, and the other half is the artistic side. John's love of the volcano comes through in the beauty of his images. But he never takes it for granted. However beautiful it looks, a volcano is very dangerous. When you're out there, if you want to get good footage, you've got to be, what I'd say, in the right place at the right time. And what you don't want to be is the wrong place at the wrong time you can easily go from being in the very right place to being in the very wrong place in only a few seconds or only a few feet. The wrong place could say be um, the wind may shift and you may end up in a gas cloud and if you'd been only 50 meters away you wouldn't be in the gas cloud or you may be in very close to a, a fountain that you're shooting and again the wind changes and you find yourself under a cloud of tephra or, or Pelly's hair or, or just tremendous heat. Uh, a, a blast of wind may come from some place that you haven't uh, calculated to be and the air temperature uh, could go from you know normal air temperature of say uh, um, you know 100 degrees Fahrenheit up to five or six hundred degrees Fahrenheit in two or three seconds Almost everything that occurs out there is preceded by a sound. And you must be able to hear this sound, and recognize that it's different from all the other roars and rumbles and rushes and, and, and that kind of thing that's going on out there so that you stop. If you can't figure out what that sound is, then you get out of there immediately. Living with a volcano means developing a healthy respect, bordering on fear. 